graphs and charts in SPSS. So before we generate graphs and charts using SPSS, remember to always save your data in SPSS software after entering the data in the software so that you never run into kaput. Either you have raw data or imported data to the SPSS. Always remember to save us, to save it before you start your analysis. So to save your data, you need to click the option file. Then move to where we have save us option. Give your data a name. I had already saved mine, but you just give it a name. Maybe you can call it hormone or pilot survey. So let me call it yes and then click save. And after saving it, you get a certain window which looks somehow chaotic, but just open the data and now start your basic analysis. So to start our basic analysis, we start by generating a bar graph. In order to generate a bar graph, what you need to do, you just click this option named as analyze. Then scroll to where we have descriptive statistics. Scroll to where we have frequency and click the option frequency. Then we shall generate a bar graph of gender of the respondent then click this arrow pointing to your right you come to where we have charts choose bar graph choose it to show in percentage if you are if you have phobia with frequencies since i know people who are idiotic with frequency just choose percentage then click continue then click ok so our graph is smartly generated here you can be able to visualize that 60% of our respondents were male, whereas 40% of our of our respondents were female. So we will do exercise with the remaining variables. Let us also come back. You can close this video or if you don't want to lose it, just open again the data by just clicking where we have this symbol of in the in the tax bar of SPSS. Come here. And now let us generate a histogram. To generate a histogram, the same sheet for us. Click the option analyze. Analyze. Then come to where we have descriptive statistics. Move to where we have frequency. After coming to where we have frequency, you can just remove this variable and use the income of respondent as we will use the income of respondent as our variable for comparison using histogram. Let us click above the income and then click this arrow pointing to the right. Click the option chart. Then choose histogram. You can choose to generate to show a normal curve on the histogram to see if our data was normally distributed or we had a lot of outliers. That is how we can notice if our data was skewed. Click continue and then click OK. So our histogram is generated here. I think it is somehow normally distributed, but you can comment in the comment section if you think the data is skewed to the left. Since I had my friend who was arguing that this data looks somehow skewed to the left, but I myself feel like it is normally distributed, but it's a question of another time, which it is a question of discussion. You can see the mean have been generated. The mean income was of 46,800, where the standard deviation, the deviation from the mean, was of 11,691.878, and the number of samples were 5. Now, let us continue and generate a bar graph. I don't want to delete this, this, this outcome or this output income, uh, out, output outcome from SPSS so that you can see that you can see all whatever you have done with SPSS and save it for either illustration or what you need to do with it. Let us continue and generate a pie chart. So without crossing this one, you just come to where we have this SPSS icon and get back to the data since it is open in two videos, the output window and the input window. Open this window. Let us come to where we have and rise again, the same sheet for us. Come to where we have descriptive statistics. Scroll to where we have frequency. We shall generate, let us generate a pie chart of, well, what do you generate? We can generate a pie chart showing 
we're trying to discuss the smokers and non-smokers since they are somehow qualitative and these things just do do good with qualitative data. So let us use smokers. Click this arrow pointing to the right as the as the things it is following. Click chart. Choose pie chart. Should you show it in percentage or frequency? Because of people who have idiotic with frequencies, we just use percentage. Click them, click OK. Continue, then click OK. So our very beautiful pie chart is generated here. There is a you can see is here. So non smokers are represented with this blue thing here. But here there is a little color showing that they can be this is for error. So it is showing there can be smokers, but most of our respondents were I actually all of our respondents were non smokers. I don't know if they were right. There's no probability all of them were non smokers. So that is how you can generate a pie chart. You can the same suit for us, you can generate pie chart for their income, their hormone before, their hormone after, after they were they were given that hormone boost and try and visualize the outcome. So from them we have generated graph in chart using SPSS. So let us come back to our data set. So this one is our data set. Now you can you can either choose choose to save this output. You can save it if you right you, you just click the option file then come to here we have save and click save output one. I do have saved that output yeah. or in case you want to use this output in your research or in your survey or in your writing, you just click for instance if you want to 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 use the histogram in your research, you just click it, then click your computer and copy and paste it where you want to use it. So that is how easy it is to use SPSS in your analysis or in doing any of your survey and analysis. So thank you for watching. If in case you need some example questions and note based on this topic of charts and graphs in SPSS, please click the link in the description which will take you into our WhatsApp group where you can download those notes. See before we complete building up our website, you can just use it for short term, but in the long term we our website will be complete. Also if you did not if you didn't watch the video on how to enter raw data in SPSS, the link is also in the in the description. You can click the link and see the video on how to enter data in SPSS, which is so simple and direct to the point. Also, in the next video, we shall cover scatter, scatter plot and fitting, right? It, it should be incorporated in, the, in this graph video, but to make it simple and make everything simple, I, shall, I have created it as a separate video. So, the video popping up here is showing you how you can generate scatter plot and fitting line in SPSS, which is also so sophisticated in doing comparison. It is so sophisticated, it is so good to learn about it. Thank you for watching. I do don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and also a subscription so that you not be missing out when we upload these that are in context. Thank you. Tell me